this week's Cardiology Countdown, we have a new format, and we'll begin with the number three pick, which is sauna treatment for heart failure. This is known as wand therapy uh, and has been seen in prior studies to improve symptoms, but a study of 41 patients looked very carefully with measurements of exercise tolerance um, and uh, heart failure performance and found that before versus after, patients who received five sauna treatments a week for three weeks had an improvement in their ejection fraction, went from 30 to 32 percent. Um, it also had a reduction in norepinephrine levels, reduction in BNP from about 550 down to 400. Uh, they also had an improvement in their six-minute walk distance and the VO2 measurements. And so this is a novel and likely a very well-received therapy for patients with heart failure. At this week's number two pick is a study published this week in JAK uh, that looks at some of the benefit of CRT therapy on atrial tachycardias. What has been seen, uh, and they looked at a correlation of improvements in left atrial volume in patients randomized to CRT therapy versus defibrillator alone, and, and split patients by responders who had a greater than 20% reduction in left atrial volume, and found that those patients had a 50% lower risk of developing atrial fibrillation, tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardias, as compared with the uh, placebo or non-CRT group, whereas those who did not remodel their left atria did not have any uh, difference in the rate of atrial tachycardia. And so this suggests that the benefit on LV remodeling that translates to left atrial remodeling is one of the mechanisms of reduction in atrial tachycardias. And at this week's number one spot is a uh, paper published in JAMA from the NCDR CATH PCI registry that looks at same day discharge following PCI. Interestingly, amongst uh, 100,000 patients in the CATH uh, PCI registry where they linked to the Medicare database for longer term outcomes, they found the prevalence of same-day discharge post-PCI was just 1.25%. Uh, the patients who had this done more often had single-vessel intervention and were a little bit lower risk overall. But they found that there was no difference in outcomes either at two days for rehospitalization or through 30 days for uh, death or rehospitalization. And uh, this was after multivariate adjustment. And so it suggests that same-day discharge may be an appropriate approach and safe for selected patients. And given the low prevalence, we might see if that could increase. So with this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.